Yo, what is up, G Crew? I'm Chris G, bringing you guys another video. And in today's video, I want to share with you guys the time I got to shoot not one, but two Lamborghinis. My buddy Adnan DM'd me on Instagram and he was like, Yo, Chris, I like your content. Are you down to shoot some Lamborghinis? And I was like, Am I down? Of course I'm down, you know? Yeah, so we, we spent all day shooting two Lamborghinis. It was a Huracan and a Aventador. So it was pretty nuts. It was crazy. It was wild. We did some photos and we did some videos as well. So thought that's it, guys. Let's get started with the video. Okay guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed that little sequence that I put together. It took me a bit of time, but it was pretty cool. So now I'm going to be showing you guys how I edit some of the photos that I took there. We're going to be editing three of them today. We just pulled up over this part of Austin. I'm sure many of you that are from there would recognize this spot. I don't even know what it's called. So with the first one, what we want to do is actually crop in just a little bit. Let me see how this looks. Um, you know, already it looks pretty good. So let's raise up some shadows. Let's see what we can mess with here. What I want to do is focus more on the red colors. So I might just kill all of the other colors. So let's see the orange messes with the red as well. We want it to be more red. So far, so good. Something that I like to do as well, highlight the wheels. And then just give it a bit of an exposure bump just so that way we can make the wheels pop just a little bit. So already guys, we're looking pretty good from where we came. Um, looks really good to me and what I'm gonna do as well is I'm gonna put a little gradient here and then I'm also gonna make another one over here like so so I think this is gonna be photo number one I think we can now move on to the next one so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to level it as best as I can so that looks good that looks perfect um, so yeah you can see that the bridge in the background is a little bit tilted but at the same time it kind of works all right so let's raise the exposure a bit let's see hold on let me lower it. yeah there's there wasn't too many detail in the sky cloudy day that day so we're chilling uh, something I noticed as well is a lot of car photographers love they love to bump up the clarity it seems like oh let me just bump up the clarity all the way <laughs> and it looks cool no um, personally to me I think that's a very amateur mistake um, if anything, I try to go less on it to make it more soft. I think this looks pretty decent. I'm just gonna mess with some of the colors. Again, I'm gonna go for that desaturated vibe on the greens. All right, so another thing I'm gonna show you guys that I like to do is discuss on clarity. So I wanna give more um, direction towards the Lamborghini, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dehaze this a little bit. What I'm gonna focus on is increasing the clarity. And what you're gonna notice right now you might not even notice it because of how you won't really notice the difference but you kind of notice it once i start to lower the shadows and i'm also going to desaturate it because it's adding color to it so if i saturate it you'll see it's starting to bring this yellowish color so i'm going to desaturate it just to keep the the grays gray and you'll notice right there it kind of leads to the car because it's like a vignette in a sense, but it's not all around. And that's I, I personally do not like vignettes. I don't even know where it's at because I never use it. I probably like passed it up three times and you're probably like, Chris, do you know what you're doing? I think this looks pretty good so far. Uh, another thing I'm gonna do is just, you know, highlight the wheels a bit. Those of you that didn't know that the show select show selected mask overlay for the longest time i didn't know like i would just hover over it and it would just pop up but sometimes it wouldn't so i'd be like why is it not working so i kind of just go to that though now so obviously like i said guys you don't want to overdo this part so this is pretty much going to be the photo i'm going to lower the highlights just a bit let me see i also kind of strayed away from just going from a 4x5 for instagram and just going for like whatever look I want to go for and I'll just let it crop itself but I'm always mindful of it I will say that so right here I'm just gonna increase the, this shouldn't be a hard edit honestly if I spend so much time on one photo it's just I'm not gonna get anywhere and it's, nothing's gonna be done so I would say just shoot and then you know you'll just learn it as you go just shoot your shots and edit them and 
you'll get plenty of practice doing that so let's see if i got all the wheel yes i did again i'm gonna come back out looks pretty good to me and then one more thing we're gonna do i just feel like there's a lot of empty space here that we can mess with so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same trick that i told you guys earlier this should probably look a little bit better so pretty much what this does is it's not all bright and you can see a huge difference afterwards on what i did there and you can see the detail in the ground leading towards the car um, there's other ways too that you can kind of i guess align the car you don't necessarily have to put it in the center other things that i like to do as well is i like to put it on the either the bottom third which is what i did do um i put it like right there i believe for my instagram a while back and then i put lightning um right here so you can see it kind of gives it that that more full look kind of focus on the car but then there's also this empty space here all right so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna get rid of this because we need to see what we're doing is we're gonna dehaze it and it kind of already gives it that like grungy vibe all right sick this is looking good i don't know why it's like becoming blue in this area i don't know if it's just my eyes playing with me this is pretty much going to be the third photo that we come up with guys so let's just recap on the three photos um, I think on this one, I just forget to desaturate the blue. I see a lot of the blue in here. And I think that might be the issue in the first one as well, or the third one. This was a while back. I've gotten better at car photography since then. So if you want to check out more of my recent stuff, you can go check that out on my Instagram as well. Well, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. I definitely did re-editing these photos. This kind of just reminded me to never delete your photos, even if they're really old, just because you never know what you can do with them. So with all that said and done, guys, have yourself a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching this. And don't forget to please comment, like, and subscribe. Peace.